To begin the process of creating an HA cluster, select the HA cluster option from the settings menu. On the cluster page, you will be informed that the cluster is uninitialized. Select the Initialize option from the Cluster Settings pane to initialize the cluster. On the Initialize Cluster page, leave the settings at default unless you require different options for your needs and select the Configure button and then select the Yes button when prompted to continue. The cluster then begins the initialization process. When the process completes, select the OK button to continue. You are now taken to the Cluster Volume Management page where you can add and remove ZFF's volumes from the cluster. By default, the Add a Volume option tab is selected. Select a volume you wish to add to the cluster from the Volume drop-down list. Upon selecting a volume, its drives are scanned and a prompt appears asking you to select heartbeat drives for the volume. Check the OK button to dismiss the message. Enter either an IP address or a VIP name, such as VIP1, in the Failover Hostname field. This address will be used to map the drive when failover occurs and needs to be known about in your name service so that clients can connect. Select the Add This Volume to the Cluster button to continue. The entered failover host name is then checked to ensure it is not already in use. After the check is complete, select the Confirm button to place the volume under cluster control. The volume is then added to the cluster. When the process completes, a message will appear. Select the OK button to dismiss it. You are returned to the Cluster Volume Management page. Select the Status option in the Cluster Settings pane. The Cluster Summary page is displayed. The volume that has been added will appear listed on each appliance in the cluster and will be automatically imported and made available on one. To manually trigger or test a failover, Simply select the Failover option from the Action drop-down list on the appliance where the volume is currently available. When prompted, select the Confirm button to initiate a failover for that volume. The ZFS volume service will then stop running on the initial appliance and start up on the other appliance in the cluster. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.